Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy X on the PS5, or PS4 rather. Well, it's a PS4 version on the PS5, anyway, scratch that. Uh, and in today's episode, we are going to be cracking on with the Final Fantasy X story. We're going to be working our way up to the moon flow. We've also got our next uh, summoning battle with Belgami. I do apologise there, put my tongue back in my mouth. And if we make it up to the moon flow quickly enough, we may also do battle with another boss fight. And that will be against Riku herself. So do stick around and join me for that. And without further ado, let's get on with today's show. And first things first, we need to go and get Yuna because currently she's running late, she's overslept. But that is because she's been up most of the night, tending to the wounded and the sick from the... what do you call it? She was working until dawn. Healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. Ah. Ah. Morning. Morning. What? what? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. But it's morning. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll, get I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh. 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 Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, oh, sleepy head. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush. Here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you. But with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Still trying to shape the cough from the cold I had you over Christmas. So I do apologise, folks. Once Lady Yuna Maybe the fixes her cough hair, we leave. Every now and again. <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realised. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Okay, we can now go ahead and start making our way out of Jose and back onto the road to continue our journey. There it is. So this is the Blitzball player I was on about. Bit of an expensive one, but he is a very good one nonetheless. I'll assign him for... Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm going to get rid of Datto. Sorry, Datto, but you're just not making the cut right now. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Yeah, Clasco. Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a chocobo? <laughs> Bless him. Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. No complaints. <laughs> Dear. 
Alright. <clears throat> okay, dokely. So here we are now. Where back to next? Joe State Road. We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow baby, here we come. Alright, so we're going to be heading up this path this time. And we are going to start running into a few oat shoes as well, just normal oat shoes, but don't worry, they're quite easy to deal with. In fact, give me a moment here, I'm actually going to show you guys a neat little trick for dealing with them nice and quickly. Uh, we can talk to Shelena as well on our way through. Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. Mm. That's very true. <coughs> I'll do some of these battles for now, but if I start getting too many of them crop up, then I might have to uh, start editing some of these out just to get Let's through it a see. bit quicker. really tired as could have dealt with that, but meh. Alright, let's keep moving. Actually, now that I think about it, we should probably pull Tidus out, because we do have that boss fight coming up, and it will involve Tidus and Waka. It's an underwater battle, so really we should start focusing on getting both of them sorted. Have Yuna get rid of that poison a second. Summoner Yuna, ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so Tidus come out set. Oh, I missed. Go. Now, if luck is on our side. We could potentially get Waka to one-shot the Ochi with his Stone Touch. Let's see if we get lucky. And we did! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the quick, easy way to get through the Ochi fight so that they're not as long-winded. Otherwise, you're sat there for 15 minutes or so, well, 10-15 minutes or so, trying to deal with them because they've got a good 7k of health, and obviously your team's only capable One of, of dishing friends. out small amounts Looks of damage just well. like him. What? <laughs> Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> You come to insult Kimari? <laughs> Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari. Lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari. Howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But. Uh, it's Kimari's problem. You can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Well, yeah, that's Confidence. true. I mean, it is five Guardians. Yeah. That we've got sat here guarding our summoner, so you know, and it, they're well trained as well. Because I've, I've not, I've not been sloppy on the training this time round. Because I want to make sure I'm giving off a decent performance. 
I'm hoping Rocky can one-shot this thing. Because I don't really want to waste too much time with these battles. There we go. I'm good, yeah? <clears throat> Alright, let's keep moving. We're actually making quite good progress here now that I think about it. Another one. Does anybody need curing or are we okay right now? Actually, you know, we do have a little bit of curing to do. Now, obviously, the petrify thing doesn't always work. Is it, 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 it works on a percentage sort of thing, so... <clears throat> it might not always hit first time round, you might have to strike at the Ocho a couple of times before it actually finally kicks in. Oh yeah. Let's take a break. So who's next? We'll walk her out of the way a second so I can get rid of that flan. So you need someone with magic skills. Yes, unfortunately, the flans are resilient to our physical attacks. So yes, Lulu, we do need someone with magic skills to deal with it. Oh, Curly Dokely here in front of us in a moment is our next pit stop. First, it looks like I'm going to have to deal with this lot. I might have to start editing some of these battles out, actually, because we are getting to the point now where it's taking up quite a bit of the episode, which I really didn't want, even though I am getting through them quite quickly. <clears throat> okay, so here's our next pit stop. Let's just have a quick glance at Yuna here, who's actually got quite a lot of sphere movement. Not quite sure how I managed to get that much and not use it, but I'll go ahead and use it now. And uh, obviously the character that's next to us right now, you'll all remember from the Mehem High Road, from just outside of Luca, where we did battle against her Ifrit. And this time we are going to be doing battle against her uh, Ixion. We will be able to use both Veil 4 and Ifrit for this we fight. Meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Mehen. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. And yet we'll go ahead and do that. I'm ready. <laughs> Defeating her will reward us but with, I believe it's the Summoner's Soul, I think it's called. Though I might be I wrong, it might be the one that we get aeons. later on. Because there is another well. battle that we do against Belgami over in the Calm Hands, but that's quite a way off yet. But I know the ability that we get for defeating her will allow us to teach our Aeons different magics and abilities if we have the correct items to go with it. Call whichever AI. Uh, let's see, let's go with Veil 4 first and we can Ixion down with water attacks. Since it's a lightning based creature. Don't hold anything back. Well, we won't. Well, I'll try not to, anyway. Crikey. That Ixion of hers is quite strong, I'll give it that. Uh-oh. Oh! Alright, we'll finish off with an energy blast since we're about dead anyway, and it's not really going to matter. 
so we might as well deal out a load of damage on our way out. I think it's much, it's Yon still standing just. No matter. I can't actually remember how much health Ixion <coughs> has. It has been a little while. <coughs> well, that answers that. <laughs> well, there we go then. Stop. That is enough. So yeah, as long as you've been training well enough, two water, two to three water attacks in Bale Four, plus overdrive, and then one swing of a physical attack from Ifrit should do it. To be fair, if you've been following me, then your Aeon should be leveled up enough. As long as you've been training like I have. And I was right, it is the Summoner's Soul. And we are going to get a little bit of a tutorial on that. I'm not going to bother with the tutorial because I already know what I'm doing. Um, but I will give you guys a quick rundown once I've got through this. So I'm going to pause the recording while I just go through this and I'll be right back with you. Again, till next time, Yuna. Alright, so basically the ability we've just got, if we go down to Aeons, go across to Abilities, and then say we click on Veil 4, it'll give you a list of abilities that Veil 4 can learn, and then you just simply need to obtain the items in question. So say we wanted to go for Cura, we just basically need to get our hands on a certain amount of uh, X potions, which obviously right now we don't have, um, which you can also learn Curaga and all sorts of different spells. I suppose I could give her a waterer, why not? Uh, oh, actually before I move on. Because we have still got a little bit of a ways to go and I'm just conscious of the fact that we might have a few more battles before we hit the end here. So I'll just heal up a little bit. Uh, and there's a hidden chest just in the corner here as well, don't forget that. Another Ochi, huh? Go, go, go! That was lucky. That was pretty impressive, actually, I must admit. Oren does not normally hit flyers that easily he's quite slow and sluggish and the flyers are usually quite quick on their well I say on their feet they're very quick with their wings and stuff start editing some of those battles out it was just becoming too time consuming Otherwise, I'd end up with another episode that was a ridiculous wow. length, and I don't want that. So here we are at the moon flow, and what a beautiful sight it is. This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. No. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back.
Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. <laughs> shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and continue on. So I'll ride across the moon float to Guado Salam. <clears throat> and I'm just looking at my record time so far for this episode. I believe this we do just shoot. about have enough time to do Whoa. the uh, boss ride. fight as well, because it won't take Come very on, long. Let's go. All right. All right. We board soon as we ready, huh? And of course we've got good old Awaka here, let's see what he's got for us. Uh, ooh, 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 I think I like that. We'll take the stone touch off for now because it's not going to be of any use against the boss fight. Okay, before we can get on the shoe puff, we just need to go deal with another cutscene. But there's also a chest no, at the back to be I had as well, so we'll grab that as well. Idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Alright. <clears throat> Just grab this. Well, if I can actually get in there. There we go. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. How li Something's. Will you two right. shut up? I want the chest at the back. Thank you. I'm just going to quickly save my game here as well. <coughs> just in case anything should go wrong. I don't think it will. Uh, we'll just quickly do Walker and Tylus' sphere grids as well. here that might help. I think I have a uh, okay. I know there's a lot of empty sphere nodes right now but we'll deal with that later on. We are going to be putting those sphere nodes to good use. Rides the shoe puff? Oops. Sure. I pressed the wrong button. Right. <coughs> All aboard! I think we've got just about enough time to get this boss fight done. Two-pop launching! Head over to the north bank now. Hey. Huh? Take a look. 
What? Whoa! Whoa! A sunken city. A sunken city. A Machina city. A city. A thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right. It's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. No, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. But the war did not stop. What, what, what happened then? Sin came and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended and our reward was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed like screwing everything up. Talking devils? What could that be? <coughs> Sit down. Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The Albed! Okay, so here's our boss fight, the extractor. I think it has about 4k of. Uh, HP. Now it has an attack called the Aqua Shooters. We don't need to worry about that too much, but then it does also have a move called Death Charge, and that's the one we need to worry about. But if you do as I do, then you should be fine. Okay, so we're going to start by getting some haste out. Okay, she's about to try and use the depth charges now, so we need to do as much damage as we possibly can as quickly as possible, and it will disrupt those depth charges. Luckily we have got haste on, so that works in our favour. And down it comes. <coughs> Almost got it, actually. It's almost dead. There we go. It's job done.
takes care of that problem. <coughs> Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. 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 Gah. Those out bed. Is everybody okay? I'm sorry. We're all okay now. Yuna. Super full. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Have something to do with Luca? What do they have the uniform? Wait, they're mad. They lost the tournament. Oh wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder. Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the out better behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. Right, here we are then on the other side of the uh, the uh, moon flow. I'm just going to quickly grab this Albert Primer. And then I think we're going to wrap things up here. I'll do a quick game save as well in a minute. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please do let me know in the comment section. Hit that like button. Be subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you all next time where we shall go and traverse Guado Salaam. And... Our team will finally be complete because we'll be getting our hands on Riku. Take care, folks.